Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Harshal and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So let's start with today's tutorial. It's about handling a frame using Selenium. Here is a tutorial Selenium frame handling. Let me explain you scenario. You have to log into the test website using test credential or using your own credential. Uh, we have seen in earlier tutorial window handling and tab handling same as the frame handling is developed for this product third product car seat testing click on view so once you click on the view it will open a new window and inside the new window you can see here this is a frame so you can learn two scenarios here handling the window and inside the window there is one frame so we have to shift to the window and then shift to the frame so let's do it or let's see how it works with the selenium let's start create a new project for a new class frame handling same as earlier tutorials just log into the application here is a code I already have which will log into the application I will explain you this is a test website it will click on the website it will submit the username and password and hit the submit button and it will come to this page this code will do this Firefox open the URL and log into the application we have seen this in earlier tutorial now let's handle the frame okay now we have to click on the view so get the xpath or id or name just inspect it it has no id no name get the view xpath tool this tool i already explained it it, it comes in product 3 view so do at the rate class equal to product 3 view slash a it has a tag so in that class this is a just copy this export driver dot find element by export dot click so before clicking that get the parent window handle because anyhow we have to switch to back to the parent window once we perform the action on frame this is driver dot get window handle which will give you the handle of parent window and then you will click to the view button so it will open a new window once it will open a new window we have to switch to the that child window so use the for each loop string let's say child window and the selenium provider method driver dot get window handles which will give all the open window and for it loop it read to the child window because there are only two windows here so write simple code driver dot switch to window we are seeing the frame handling but the frame is inside the window so first we have to switch to the window child window that's it so this will switch to the child window uh, for switching put some thread dot slip or delay because might be there is some time delay to switching the window so it is good to have some weight once you click on the view so I can say 3 seconds is enough ok now it will switch to the child window 
now inside that child window you can see this is uh, let's say this step will do this and switch to the this window now we, we have to inspect the frame actually this is a window we came to the window now we have to switch to frame so inspect it let me explain you the frame just inspect this window this is whole window this is frame so inspect the window first you can see the in body you can see this is iframe iframe and iframe has the unique property name car car c frame is the name of that iframe so use again switch to code travel dot switch to now frame this is frame so inside the frame give the name of the frame or id or whatever the parameter is available Okay, now it will switch to the frame. Now click on add to card button. Add to card. So get the idea of this. We know it has a XPath. Uh, it is a button, so and only one button is available on the page. So this XPath is enough. This one match from. Find element by xpath. This is xpath. Dot click. That's it. So this will open the window, open the frame, uh, switch to frame, and click to the uh, that add to cart button. So let's run this program, or you can uh, sys out the frame name as well. We should just run the program. It has opened the browser. Now it will log into the application. Yes, it has logged in. Now it will click the view. Yes, it has clicked. It has switched to frame and see it has clicked to the add to card button. And you can see it, it went to the you are in a card page. That's it guys. So the program is passed. So this is for frame handling. You can get the code, all the code over this website. Just go to all tutorials. The frame handling is here. The video is available over the website and the code is also available here. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel so you will get next notifications and next videos. Thank you.